in Android 5, there's a new uh, powerful an blueprint debugger called Rewind Debugger. And with this tool, you can uh, debug your anim blueprints. So you can record some gameplay and then look what was played, which animation, which sync markers and uh, curves, etc. You can also look exactly in which state your anim blueprint was and inside there also look all the details. And you can also see the the variables of your anim blueprint, which value they had at any frame, for example here, which is very powerful. So let's see uh, how to set up all this. I will just close this and start from the beginning. Well, first of all, you need to make sure you have a, a plugin called Animation Insights that is enabled. Once you enable it, you can use Rewind Debugger. To use Rewind Debugger, it's pretty easy. You go to the Tools Debugger and you open it. And you see here the timeline and the various properties that will appear here later. First, we need to uh, select the character that we will debug. Uh, we select this character and then here you can also say this. Okay, now it shows all the curves we recorded previously. But it will be gone. Next, uh, we have to uh, start playing and click this record button and you see it restarts the recording now we are playing you see the timeline is updated in real time now it there is important moment to see what we recorded you don't have to uh, quit the gameplay you, you must not quit the gameplay you just need to leave this window by doing shift F1 and then pause and eject. And now you can scrub here the, the timeline. You see various states we are in. We were in. Okay, so what what we can see we can see all the various animations the the anim blueprint played the their weights here we have various animations and their weights and if you click on the this triangle you can also see the playback time of this animation this is the walk animation so it loops and you can see the playback rate and loop motion weight that are constant. Then you can, for the blend spaces, see a little bit more things. You can see also the, the weight of this blend space, but also back time and the various variables input. And input filtered that I don't know exactly what it means but probably it applies different interpolations and so and then you have uh, uh, anim notifies that are presented on a one notifies by line so you, in this case the notifies are on the contact pose you can see where they fires left contact right contact etc and then you have curves so you can see which curves had which value at each moment uh, another cool thing that you can do now is to open the anim graph itself and look what happens 
I have here a state machine and uh, so you can see here I'm walking I'm in the walk state then here here I was stopping then idle then restarting and stopping again etc uh, another cool thing you can do is to uh, check the, the the variables of the of the new group wind. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you cannot uh, check them di uh, directly in the in this window, I think, but you can record them and see them here. And for this, there's another step you need to take. What I didn't do. Uh, it's to go into here and say trace object properties and now we will restart playing record something again and then pause eject now we have a properties here entry and if we look here it actually uh, uh, shows a lot of things but the our variables are here on the bottom for example i have the variable key that say which which yo we have which turn so you can see it changes here i think that is very cool too uh so that's uh more or less all. Uh, another interesting thing I found uh, is here uh, you can replay the recorded camera and it shows you, you know, like what the characters was see what the player was seeing. And uh, if you prefer, you can disable it and just show the the fixed view. So that's it for the moment. Thank you for watching. If I discover something more interesting about this wonderful tool, I will probably make another video. Thanks and bye.